Tesla just revealed a stunning look inside its massive Nevada semi-truck factory, where they're gearing up to produce 50,000 game-changing Tesla semis annually starting in 2026. This is Tesla's bold entry into the $140 billion global semi-truck market. But the real story is much, much larger. The trucking industry's massive revenue doesn't come from truck sales alone. Instead, Tesla's about to rewrite the rules of the $2.2 trillion freight and logistics industry by leveraging its all-electric semi, cutting-edge software, and AI-driven innovation. So get ready to uncover how Elon Musk's vision could transform global supply chains. Let's dive into this hidden revolution unfolding right now. Before we continue, stop using Yahoo Finance, stop using Google Finance, and visit my newly redesigned website, themarketisopen.com, for instant stock quotes and quarterly financial data going back up to 17 years, and it's all freely available. The semi-truck factory building is ready. The concrete foundation is set, walls are up, and the pillars stand tall. Tesla is now installing state-of-the-art manufacturing equipment with its first semis rolling off the line by the end of this year. Unlike the pilot facility's limited production of just a handful of trucks, Tesla's new Nevada factory is a staggering leap forward, set to produce 50,000 Tesla semis each year with the ramp up throughout 2026. Tesla's mission is to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy, and these trucks will slash emissions from an industry that accounts for a disproportionate 23% of the transportation sector's emissions in the U.S. Now, the Tesla Semi is a beast of a product, a 500-mile range monster capable of blasting from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 20 seconds, even with an 81,000-pound load. That's three times faster than a regular diesel truck. It also goes zero to 60 in five seconds without a load. It's not just powerful, it's efficient, consuming less than two kilowatt hours per mile. Compared to diesel trucks, which can burn $70,000 in fuel annually per vehicle, the semi could save operators up to $50,000 a year on energy costs alone, making it a financial slam dunk. Therefore, the Tesla Semi has a payback period when switching away from diesel. While Tesla hasn't disclosed new pricing, which no doubt has increased from the previous $150,000 to $180,000 price tag, even at $200,000 after four years, the truck is essentially free, based on just fuel cost savings, which has customers salivating. And with Tesla's own internal test fleet having logged over 7.9% million miles, and companies like PepsiCo, Walmart, Costco, and Ryder all having tested the vehicle within their own fleets, the verdict is that they're ready for more. And that's the purpose of this new factory. But Tesla's playing a much bigger game. The sale of the trucks themselves puts Tesla into an $80 billion North American market, which is perhaps $100 to $200 billion worldwide and it's in line with Tesla's mission on electric transport. But the Tesla Semi is really a Trojan horse to build and solidify Tesla's ecosystem by infiltrating the much larger freight transportation market, which is a $2.2 trillion industry. That's 15 times larger than truck sales added on top as an incremental business. Tesla's proprietary software integrates fleet management directly into the Semi's core, offering real-time route optimization, predictive maintenance, and analytics that boost uptime to over 95%. And so it's important to realize that freight and logistics isn't some offshoot business that Tesla simply decided to go into to make more money, and that it's deviating away from its own mission of sustainable transport, and they should just focus on making electric trucks. But quite the opposite. Electric trucks are great, but they need to be highly utilized to replace fossil fuels and diesel. Utilization of an efficient truck is more important than just selling the truck into the wild. And so by integrating it with truck management systems and logistics systems and coupling that with autonomous transport, it guarantees that customers 
will actually want to use the vehicle and not just leave it parked in a lot and claim how they're going green. A great example of where Tesla wants to be is to look at where Uber is today. While Uber is well known for its ride sharing and food delivery networks, the company also has a large commercial business of managing freight for other companies. As of last year, Uber surpassed $18 billion in freight under management and they provide the logistics for connecting shippers and carriers while leveraging their technology and software. Uber Freight made over $5 billion in revenue last year. And keep in mind that Uber doesn't own any vehicles, they don't make trucks, they're just a software add-on layer to help connect and make the trucking industry more efficient. And yet, even Uber Freight says and believes that their business is literally revolutionizing the truck industry. And they're likely quite correct on this. The industry itself is fragmented with third-party systems and software throughout. Companies trying to improve shipping and deliveries sell bolted-on sensors and devices to better keep track of these trucking assets. There are various in-cap solutions and screens and tablets that are added on after the fact and retrofitted into trucks to try and make them smarter. And even Uber itself is another layer to try and track shipments and deliveries while securing capacity for the enterprises that need it on demand. The Tesla Semi wipes the board clean and starts fresh, which offers some major advantages and some disadvantages. For one thing, Tesla isn't going to capitalize on the very large existing truck market, which will be around for many decades to come. That's not their target business. Instead, they're looking at replacing it over time with their own solution. Elon Musk's approach is vertically integrated, from building the truck to logistics and ultimately doing the driving, allowing Tesla to enter and disrupt multiple markets with the same piece of technology, a single truck. Everything is integrated end to end. There aren't any third party sensors or devices needed to make the truck smart or connected. It's all built in. The driver has a clean view with two screens containing essentially the truck management apps and software that they require. There's no need for additional tablets to be installed running specific third-party applications. While Uber is a software platform that sits on existing infrastructure, Tesla is building their own from the ground up, including 46 mega charger stations, not stalls, but stations by 2027 along trucking routes that will put them even further ahead of any future competition. They're not just building trucks, they're building a multi-trillion dollar disruptive force, an integrated ecosystem for the best overall customer experience. Tesla stands to profit from selling the truck itself, including the electricity used to power the trucks, providing the logistics and management, expanding on exactly what Uber is doing today, and then the most disruptive of all, which will be the autonomous layer. Not needing to worry about paying large salaries, driver availability, and regulations that apply only to humans, but not to machines. That's the reality of where the industry is headed. If shipping and logistics is a $2.2 trillion industry, then autonomous semi-trucks will simplify and disrupt this market segment while taking care of the driving itself which is the bulk of the effort and could grow into a multi-trillion dollar business on its own just for Tesla's trucking division, while again amplifying the utilization of connected electric autonomous trucks. And so the Tesla Semi Factory isn't just about launching a new vehicle. It's about reimagining freight for a sustainable and autonomous future. With a 50,000 unit per year run rate just to start and autonomy on the horizon, Tesla's poised to dominate an industry stuck in the stone ages with a seamless end-to-end -end solution. So how big do you see Tesla's semi-truck product getting? And do you think it can disrupt Uber's freight logistics business? Don't forget to watch my last video on billionaire investors Bill Ackman betting big on Hertz and what Tesla is doing to disrupt it. Visit our new website, themarketisopen.com. Please hit the like button and subscribe. We would really appreciate that. And a huge shout out to all of our patrons that help to support our channel. Your support helps us to continue to make great content. Thank you guys so much for watching.